Okay, so hopefully now we have the idea of completing the square. So let's um, work a little bit more complicated problem and see how, how that completing the square can help us. So again, here we have our quadratic, and we are not going to be able to factor, you know, to be able to throw down our parentheses and solve, because we can't think of things that multiply together to get 7, but that also would combine to give us a 7. So we have to think of alternatives. And for this one, we're going to complete the square. So in completing the square, we want our q squared plus 7q. And we're going to leave a blank to finish that completing the square business. And we're going to move our constant over to the other side. Now, remember our procedure is always the same no matter what we have. We're going to take one half of the middle term, and half the middle term will be 7 halves. And then we square that number. So 7 halves squared would be 49 over 4. This is what we're adding to both sides, 49 over 4. Now, don't worry about it because it's a fraction. Just think about your procedure. You want to keep going step by step, no matter what you're given. doesn't matter. Okay, now we have to factor this down. And even though it's a fraction, it's not bad. Because remember, when this factors, it always factors into our variable and then the halved amount. Well, remember, that halved amount was 7 halves. So this would be q plus 7 halves. Quantity squared equals, and now we have negative 7 plus 49 over 4. Now we need to get a common denominator um, so that we can you know, use those things. So negative 7 plus 49 over 4. It looks like our common denominator would be a 4. Um, so this would be, what, a negative 28 instead of a negative 7. Negative 28 over 4 is negative 7. And when we combine these two things, negative 28 over 4 plus 49 over 4, that would be a positive 21 over 4. So negative 7 plus 49 fourths is 21 over 4. That's just adding and subtracting fractions. Now, we don't want this squared, so we're going to undo the square by using our square root property. So again, this will undo the square. Even though we're working with fractions, we cannot get hung up in the fractions. And then the square root of 21 over 4, well, that would be plus or minus. We can't do anything with the square root of 21. It doesn't have a perfect square inside of it to, um, you know, simplify it down any. But we can take the square root of 4. That's a 2. Now we still need to get q alone, so we're going to do that by subtracting that 7 halves from both sides to move it. So this would be q equals negative 7 halves plus or minus the square root of 21 over 2. Now again, this is two answers compactly written as one. So we need to write it as two answers. That would be negative 7 halves plus the square root of 21 over 2 and then also negative 7 halves minus the square root of 21 over 2. Now it can be written that way, or we could also, since these have a common denominator already, we could actually write it as negative 7 plus the square root of 21 all over 2, and that would be the exact same thing. Um, and then also negative 7 minus the square root of 21 all over 2 just depends on, you know, it, it's a preference really. And, you know, either one is the exact same answer.